asking for information at a tourist office. First, you will have some time to look at questions 1 to 4. Now we shall begin. You should answer the questions as you listen because you will not hear the recording a second time. Listen carefully and answer questions one to four. Hello, how can I help you? Um, hello. Is it possible to book a bus tour of the city here? Of course, sir. When would you like to take the tour? There are tours in the morning, afternoon and evening. Sometimes it's nice to see the city at night with the buildings lit up. We'll be going out for dinner tonight, so we'd prefer to go this afternoon. Oh, and it's for two people. Right. Now, I just need some details. Can you give me the names of the two people, please? Yes. Susan Field and James Carter. Susan Field and James... Sorry, can you spell your surname for me, please? It's Carter. C-A-R-T-E-R. -E Thank you. And can I have a contact telephone number? Why do you need one? Just in case we have to cancel the tour and need to contact you. I see. Well, my mobile number is 07988-636-197. That's 07988-636-197. Now, can you also tell me which hotel you're staying at? The Crest Hotel. Oh, uh, no, sorry. That's the hotel we're staying in next week. It's the Riverside Hotel. Oh, the Riverside is a lovely hotel. Are you enjoying your stay? Yes, we are, very much. We definitely recommend it to others. Oh, I am glad. Now, I can book you on the tour at 4pm. Would that suit you? Alternatively, there is one at 2. 2 would be better for us, please. Right. That's booked for you, sir. Two people at 2pm today, August the 14th. You pay the bus driver when you get on and it's £4 per person. Thank you very much. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions 5 to 10. Now listen and answer questions 5 to 10. Can I also ask you about the museum in the main square? I was reading about it in my guidebook and was shocked to see that the entrance price is £10. Why does it cost so much? Well, the museum has the largest collection of Latin American art in Europe. People come from all over the world to see it. But that's not the reason why it's so expensive to get in. You see, the building is very old and it needs repairs. The £10 ticket cost will go towards repairing the roof and the walls. I see. Well, I suppose it's worth paying £10 to see the collection. Yes, I think so too. Is there anything else I can help you with? Actually, there is. I was wondering if you knew of any good restaurants in the area. Well, there are a few restaurants near the harbour and a couple on the beach, which are nice. The problem is that the smell of the fish market is quite strong down there. Mm, I don't think my girlfriend would be very pleased. I know what you mean. It's not very romantic, is it? <laughs> my advice would be to go to the next town. It's bigger and the restaurant selection is wider. You can get there by taxi and it only takes about ten minutes. The town is quite picturesque. Is it for a special occasion? Yes, it's my girlfriend's birthday, so I'd like to go somewhere special. Uh, do you know any of these restaurants well enough to tell me about them? Well, I know about a few of them, and there are pictures in this leaflet here. Oh, this one here is lovely, the Bellevue, and it's extremely popular. It has a famous chef, so it's not cheap, but the standard of the food is very high. It's right by the sea, and there are wonderful views if you get a good table. 
Then there's the Lighthouse Cafe. You can see the picture here, which isn't really a cafe at all. In fact, it's a great restaurant, and a lot of TV celebrities and actors eat there. The place has been going for over a hundred years. It's quite an institution around here.、Mm, I'm not sure about those two. They sound too expensive to me. I was thinking of somewhere small, not too upmarket, but with good food. In that case, what about Harvey's? The same family has run this restaurant for over a century, and it's reasonably priced and really popular with local people. Oh, and there's another family-run restaurant, Stonecroft House. New owners took over a month ago, and they're getting good reviews. There's a new chef there, and the food is meant to be very good. This leaflet has the contact details for all the restaurants, so you can just call them if you'd like to book a table. Great, thanks. You've been very helpful. That is the end of part one. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now turns to part two. Part two. You are going to hear a guide named Matt, who is introducing their trip in Wildlife Haven. Now you have some time to look at questions eleven to fifteen. Now listen to the first part of the introduction carefully, and answer questions eleven to fifteen. Well, good morning, everybody. My name's Matt, and I'm one of the three guides here at Wildlife Haven. Our job is to make sure that you all have a great time here with us and go home feeling happy and relaxed. As you can see, we're away from the city in a remote area between a national park and the sea. To encourage you to relax. There are no radios or TVs, and the only phones and newspapers are in the office. So, if peace and quiet is what you've come for, this is the place to be. From your cabin on the hill, you'll find you have the national park behind you, and you can look out from the sea from your front balcony. Your luggage will be unloaded from the bus and taken to your rooms in a few minutes. Once you have picked up your key at reception, please locate your room and check that all your luggage has arrived. The daily program here at Wildlife Haven is flexible, and only as demanding as you want it to be. You should each have a brochure setting out the facilities and various walking tracks you can take. And on the bus, you are given a green sheet setting out a number of group tours in the coming week. If you want to join any tour, just write your name and room number on the relevant sheet along the wall here. Tomorrow, there is a beachcombers and rockhoppers tour. Exploring marine life in the rock pools along the beach, or if you'd prefer to go inland, there's a guided forest walk that takes you off the walking tracks. If you want to catch some lunch, you could join the beach fishing expedition. And at night, you'll see there is a moonlight forest walk that leaves each night at 7 p.m. So there is plenty to choose from at Wildlife Haven, and of course, that includes just sitting on your balcony watching the waves roll in. But I would recommend my favorite tour, the waterfall walk. This departs at sundown each day, and also provides the opportunity to have a moonlight swim. Now you have some time to look at questions sixteen to twenty. In the second part of the introduction, you are going to get some advice from Matt. Listen carefully 
and answer questions 16 to 20. You've chosen to visit us in January, which is one of our hotter months. And although you may be tempted to wear a minimum of clothing, you should always take precautions against injury, particularly in the National Park. This includes sensible footwear. You'd be surprised how many of our guests ignore this advice and end up being sorry. And socks are a good idea, too. And even though you might be under trees a lot of the time, it's a good idea to wear a hat in this hot climate. There's no need to be too concerned about walking in the National Park, provided you use common sense. It's true that there are poisonous spiders in the park, but they are really more frightened of you than you are likely to be of them. I should also warn you against eating any wild berries. Some are edible, but you should avoid them all. We'll provide all the food you can eat. Well, that's about all for now. Dinner is from 6 to 8 p.m. in this building. That is the end of part two. You now have half a minute to check your answers. अगर लिसनिंग के साथ साथ आप स्पीकिंग की भी प्रैक्टिस करना चाहते हैं तो हमारी अपनी एप्लीकेशन है बेबी को डायल्स प्लीज डाउनलोड करो ऐप स्टोर और प्ले स्टोर दोनों पे अवेलेबल है और लिंक डिस्क्रिप्शन में भी हमने डाल दिया है यहाँ पे आप ए टीचर को जितने चाहें उतनी बार स्पीकिंग टाइल्स दे सकते हो जब चाहें तब कोई रिस्ट्रिक्शन नहीं है और अगर आप चाहते हो कि टीचर आपको आपके बैंड स्कोर बताए आपकी मिस्टेक बताए और कैसे आप पांच बैंड से सात बैंड इम्प्रूव कर सकते हो तो प्लीज यूज करो मेरा प्रोमो कोड आयल्स फिफ्टी Do not forget my promo code is IELTS50. Now it turns to part 3. Part 3. You are going to hear a tape recording of instructions and advice, which a woman called Martha has left for her friend John, who is coming to stay at her house and take care of it while she is away. First, you have some time to look at questions 21 to 24. Now, listen carefully and answer questions 21 to 24. Hello John, welcome to the house. I'm really pleased that you can be here to look after my house while I'm away. Here are some things you need to know about the house. Important stuff like when the garbage is collected. In fact, let's start with the garbage, which is collected on Friday. Just write garbage on the calendar on the days they take it away. Put it out on Friday every week, that'll be Friday 22nd, Friday 29th and Friday 5th. It's a really good service. The trucks are quiet and the service is efficient. The bin will be put back outside the house empty. It's a good idea to put it away quickly. This street can be quite windy. I once watched my next door neighbour chase her bin the whole length of the street. Every time she nearly caught up with it, it got away again. The waste paper will be collected this Tuesday. That's Tuesday 19th. There's a plastic box full of paper in the front room. Please put it out on Tuesday. The truck will come during the day. If you don't mind collecting old newspapers and other paper and putting them in the box, I'll put it out when I come home. The paper people only come monthly. I have some things to give to charity in a box in the front room. Would you put it out on Monday the 25th, please? It's a box of old clothes and some bed linen which I've collected plus a few other bits and pieces. Be careful when you pick it up, because it's heavier than you might expect. The charity truck will come by during the day on the last Monday of the month. If you want to use the library, you'll find it on Darling Street. I've left my borrower's card near the telephone. It has a very good local reference section if you want to find out more about this city. I'm sorry to say we don't have a cleaner. Oh yes, filters. 
Please would you change the filters on the washing machine on the last day of the month, which is Sunday the 31st. We find that the machine works much better if we change the filters regularly. The gas company reads the meter outside the house, so don't worry about that. I think that's all the information about our calendar of events. Before you hear the rest of the talk, you have some time to look at questions 25 to 30. Now listen and answer questions 25 to 30. Well, John, I'm trying to think what else I should be telling you. As you know, I'm going to a conference in London. I hope to have a little time to look around. It's a great city. I do hope I manage to get to at least some of the theatres and museums. I'm looking forward to all the things I have to do at the conference too. I'm giving a paper on Tuesday the 26th and there are a couple of really exciting events planned later in the conference programme. I hope to meet up with an old teacher of mine at the conference. She taught English literature at my old high school and we've kept in touch through letters over the years. She teaches now at the University of Durham and I'm really looking forward to seeing her again. By the way, I expect you're hungry after your trip. I've left a meal in the refrigerator for you. I hope you like cheese and onion pie. Would you do me a favour, please? I haven't had time to cancel an appointment. It was made a long time ago and I forgot about it until this morning. It's with my dentist for a check-up on Thursday the 28th. Could you please call the dentist on 816-2525 and cancel the appointment for me? Thanks a lot, John. One last thing. When you leave the house, make sure the windows and doors are shut and set the burglar alarm. The alarm code number is 912. Two zero enter. Have fun. I'll see you when I get back. This is your friend Martha saying goodbye. That is the end of part three. You now have half a minute to check your answers. अभी तो वे भी कोड ऐप डाउनलोड नहीं की तो यहाँ पे सिर्फ स्पीकिंग नहीं स्पीकिंग लिसनिंग रीडिंग राइटिंग सारे के सारे फ्री में मॉड्यूल अवेलेबल है वो भी लेटेस्ट कंटेक्स के साथ और तो यहाँ पे आईएस के लाइव क्लासेस भी देते हैं आईटी पे अप्रूव टीचर फ्री में तो प्लीज डाउनलोड करो ट्राई करो और अपने दोस्तों के साथ शेयर करो ताकि ज्यादा से ज्यादा बच्चों तक ये बात पहुंच सके नाउ टर्न्स टू पार्ट 4 पार्ट 4 सेक्शन यू विल हियर एन इंट्रोडक्टरी लेक्चर to a course on Southeast Asia. First, you have some time to look at questions 31 to 40. Now listen carefully and answer questions 31 to 40. My name is Paul Stange. I'm coordinator of this course. It's called Southeast Asian Traditions. I'm also the author of the study guide and the course reader, and you should have those in front of you. As well as these, you'll need two textbooks for the course. There's the one by Osborne, and there's another by Legg. I'll talk a bit more about the reading materials in a moment. Now, if you haven't got these materials, you can buy the textbooks at the University Bookshop. 
and you can collect the study guide and the course reader from me on your way out of the lecture. The purpose of this lecture is simply orientation. What I'm going to do is introduce myself, talk you through the course, and give you some additional advice, apart from what's contained in the study guide, on dealing with the various assignments for the course. First of all, the materials. You'll find the two textbooks very clear, and they give a good basic coverage of the history of the region. Most of the reading materials in the reader are fairly easy going, but I have to warn you that two of them are quite difficult. These are the readings by Smale and Bender, and of these two, the one by Bender is perhaps the more challenging. But don't let that put you off, because understanding these two readings is important to help you develop a clearer understanding of the cultures. In other words, They'll help you acquire greater sensitivity to the differences between the various cultures in the region. Now, the course itself. The course has multiple aims. It's primarily a history course, but it's not only a history course. It is, in most respects, a cultural history course focusing on Southeast Asia. Nevertheless, the course is, as you'll see from the materials, an introduction to the Southeast Asian Studies component of the Asian Studies program. In looking at the cultural history of Southeast Asia, there are two major influences to be considered: the Chinese and the Indian. It's important not to forget the extensive influence that these two countries have had in the region. China has been trading throughout the region. Since at least the sixth century, so many of its cultural and social traditions have influenced the countries in the area, and religious practices from India have helped form today's culture. So we'll be looking for the links and the connections between traditional patterns and today's developments in the region. I think you can now begin to see how these past influences might form a background for the present-day social practices. And in the same way, this course will form a basis or background for second and third year courses, with their focus on the modern period, and in particular the economic and political situation of the region. So that's the outline of the course. I'd like to go on now to look at what you have to do, your assignments, and so on. That is the end of part four. You now have half a minute. To check your answers. अभी तक बेबी कोड डाउनलोड नहीं की यहाँ पे लाखों बच्चे फ्री में आइस क्लियर कर रहे हैं विद द हेल्प ऑफ बेबी कोड आइस तो लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ट्राई करो डू नॉट फॉरगेट माई प्रोमो कोड आइस फिफ्टी ओके